A recent announcement made by Elon Musk to provide amnesty to previously suspended accounts on Twitter, accounts that were disproportionately conservative, has some activists in a little bit of a frenzy, saying that lives will be at risk if these people are allowed to tweet. One of these activists, Alejandro Caraballo, an interview with the Washington Post, and also, by the way, is a Harvard Law School professor here, said that this would be existentially dangerous for marginalized communities. He went on to say that this is like opening the gates of hell in terms of the havoc that it will cause. Now, without context, you might be thinking that that good old professor was talking about a damn asteroid, but no, he was simply talking about the right of conservatives to tweet on the platform that is Twitter. Because I don't know what about conservative ideas or conservative thoughts or whatever makes these people think that it would be existentially dangerous for marginalized communities, which I assume I'm a part of, though I don't really like to identify as marginalized because I think that's a little bit of a victim mentality. But I think that black people, brown people can handle some tweets that they don't agree with. Maybe that's just me though.